I used to think that I was invincible. Three months in the hospital has taught Dale Anderson some powerful life lessons. Now I know that nobody's invincible. Anything can happen. You just got to be careful with your choices. He knows all it takes is one bad decision. I did something stupid and this happened. Which is what happened back in May. We had a campfire. We were just messing around and then like the fumes lit up and shot out of the gas tank. It's just like a big cloud of fire. This field off Franklin Avenue is where that fire happened. The flame so intense, so fast, they scorched nearly Dale's entire body in a few short seconds. Dale was airlifted to St. Elizabeth's burn unit in Lincoln. The first night was the worst. This is what his mother walked into. What's it like to see your child in that kind of pain? Awful. It's like the worst thing ever. I can't even describe it. Burns covering 80% of his body, third degree on his arms and legs. A parent's worst nightmare. I remember reading in one of your posts that the pain was so bad that he had passed out. Yes, that's happened numerous times. But what Dale quickly proved is that he is a fighter. A lot of the nurses have told me I'm stronger than some of the adults that they've had. He didn't give up, determined to get better, despite the pain and so many surgeries. I know he's been to the OR something like 14 times in the last three months. His mother almost lost count. It looks like it's not skin, but that's all skin. Dale credits his recovery to the hospital staff and his friends and family for all the support, which he also got from his favorite football team. Hey Dale. Hey Dale. Wish you a speedy recovery. We're all praying for you here. The Iowa Hawkeyes. Dale now wants to pay it forward. I hope that people don't make the same mistake that I did. Sharing his story and some of those lessons he's learned. I hope that I do inspire people to push through their problems, not just give up. Powerful words from a 12-year-old who's a true survivor. In Lincoln, James Wilcox, KETV, News Watch 7.